G'day everybody, welcome to another Let's Go Fishing video. It is now first light in the morning at Lake Hume, one of Australia's biggest lakes. I'm here today to have a play around, it's springtime, so target species are trout, redfin and yellowbelly. The plan for this morning is just to head out into the main basin behind me here. I'm going to try and get a trout in the open water for this first couple of hours of daylight. And uh, then I'm going to go chase the yellow belly in the treetops. But bloody excited. There's a little bit of wind around now, which is annoying. But hopefully that drops off today and it's a beautiful day. But I'm going to go get into it and see if I can find a trout straight up. How's that sun coming over the hill? It's beautiful, isn't it? So nice being out on the water. Okay, so there's a couple big yellows in this tree. I have a drop on them. See what happens. Zone now. Yep. Got him. Got him. Wicked. Wicked. All right. Now this is the start we needed at 8 o'clock. Alright, no good on the trout, but uh, first yellow we're after, we've got him. He chased it nicely and ate it, so pretty happy with that. Pretty happy with that. Wicked, that's a beautiful start. Beautiful start to the morning. Okay, went and did the trout thing in the main basin early, but just no good. Uh, found two, they both chased it, didn't want to eat it. So decided to run to the yellow spot here and uh, straight away, first drop on the yellow. Got this nice one, I'll grab him. All right, he is not, not the jumbo size that Hume is famous for, but he's a start beautiful morning uh, just bringing that grub up over top of him just shaking a grub over top of him he just turned chased it and ate it so good all right grubs out let him go in this beautiful morning sun all right so you can see this yellow here oh, I just got the screen recording going my lure has practically become one with him like he's just so close to looking at it but it's just very doughy still and he doesn't want to eat it he came and chased it pretty good the first time but didn't eat it and now he's just oh i just hit him with the lure going down so there you go you see him he's gone down and sat below the tree a bit further now but that's what happens a fair bit uh they're just not interested just not active enough to eat it as you can see the water's still only 12 degrees so yeah, move on, see if I can find another one. Ah, finally, another one. It's taking some convincing. They have been taking some convincing. Just another smaller guy. Just another smaller one. That is number two, but I'm just going to pop the grub out and get him straight back. Send him on his way and find a better one. Yep, got him. He's a big fish, this one, too. Really, he's a big fish on the screen, so. Hopefully he's a big fish. Oh yeah. Yeah. He's a biggie. He is a biggie. Oh my god. That's on this thing. That is a dinner plate yellow. So big. Oh. Wow. That's the one I've been after today. Absolute spring football. Just the thickness of this thing, 
crazy. Look at the shoulders on that and the thickness on that. He is an absolute cracker. Springtime football. They're just so incredibly fat. The hook's out. The fatness of that. So fat. Incredible. He's out of here. Got him. Got him. That wasn't the one I was after. His mate came out of the tree from further over and come and nailed it. Fine than a couple now, which is good. He is only the small mount. All right. We'll see if we can get that big female down there, I think. Let him go. Got him. Got him. He looked big on the screen, so let's hope he's big. Pulling some line and got some weight straight up. Oh yeah, I think this is the big dog I've been after. Oh yeah, he's got some weight. Man, he's got some weight. Big head shakes too. Oh, he's not that big, he's just he's a beautiful fish, just a beautiful, healthy one. Beautiful, healthy one. Wicked. All right, well, I think spring is definitely here. Glass out, blue skies, sunny. The big pigs are on the chew. So good. I'm gonna pick this thing up, give you guys a look at him, and then let him go. All right. Beautiful. He's no 60 bus, but he's just one of those 50 centimeter tanks. Put up a good account for himself, actually. It's a good scrap. A little grub getting sucked in. The water's still so cold, 12 degrees. You just got to be super subtle. A little grub's the only thing I can get them on, but it's awesome fun. All right, I'm gonna get the grub out and let him go. Thanks for coming, buddy. He's out. It's glassed out, absolutely perfect conditions for him. I think that's five already, yeah, pretty good going. I'm pretty stoked with that, but i uh, got the next couple of hours to keep on hammering away. Hopefully in these good conditions, I can find a few more. But I'll just do a quick bit of a gear run through for you guys. What I'm using is just a Samaki Zing Extreme V3. This model is the four to eight pound spin stick. It's seven and a half foot solid tip uh really nice rod love this rod use it for all my trout stuff as well got a little 1000 size reel spooled with 16 pound x braid pentagram this stuff super strong super thin and 10 pound ultraless fluorocarbon using about a rod length of fluorocarbon attached with an fg knot um, the water is pretty clear here at hume and i've just come down to a little grub i'm just covering that grub in heaps of scent and just twitching it past them and they're just coming up and sucking it in uh, that fish had like three or four looks at it then before he ate it but yeah super subtle um just a nice light drag really set that hook when they eat it but yeah it's been a it's been a fun session uh springtime goldens is always heaps of fun i love catching them on the edge and now you can use the live to catch them in the trees it's pretty awesome the live is a massive advantage out here in the trees but if you guys at home don't have the live all you simply do is just come to all these treetops out in the main basin, tie up or spot lock on the treetop, drop your grubs all the way down and then jig them all the way up and just give each tree five minutes and I'm sure you'll get into some fish yourself. Like, There's not fish on every tree but one in ten trees has got some fish on it and then there has been trees where I don't even see a fish, I've dropped it anyway and fish have come out. So 
the live is not the be all and end all but it certainly does help a lot and uh when you get him chasing it you know just don't stop it don't stop it keep it coming so yeah bit of fun i'm gonna get back into it Wow, you would have seen that one chase all the way to the boat. Yes, another one, another one. He came out, railed it. This looked like a fairly decent one, so. Hopefully, might be my big bang I've been after. Oh yeah, it's fish of the day so far, I think. Fish of the day so far. He's real quality. All right, this guy just came and mowed it down as soon as I got it to him. Did not even hesitate, this guy. And it looks like he's not been hesitating for a while when it comes to eating. Look at that dinner plate. Where are we? That is round. It's as high as it is long. All right, that is half a dozen. That is half a dozen fat yellows. Oh, got me against the tree, this one. Come on, don't go down there. Come back out. Come back out. I'm back out. Oh. <sighs> All right, wow, just hooked fish of the day, an absolute monster, and it uh, got me in the timber and snapped me off. I was trying to play around with the GoPro, went flat right at the time I hooked it and I was trying to play around with that and I backed my drag off a little bit from that other fish and it just absolutely roasted me, got me in the timber and I thought I could pull it back out and I couldn't and it snapped me off which I'm absolutely spewing about because that could have been like a 65, 70 centimetre one, like it was massive and geez, it went good but you never to know so bugger, retie and keep going. What an epic day that turned out to be. How's the weather? Just amazing conditions for this afternoon. Sadly, I didn't get a fish in the boat after lunch, uh, half a dozen before lunch, and then just, yeah, things didn't go my way after lunch. Didn't get a lot of bites, had a lot of follows, and then that big one I did hook managed to snap me off, which I'm absolutely gutted about. But it's three o'clock in the afternoon now. I've got to make the run home. So I'm gonna wrap the video up, guys. I'll just give you guys a few tips for if you want to come rub some yellows yourself. You want to get right above them. They're not as spooky, the yellows, so get right above them and get your grub vertical on them. Once you get them coming up, just keep them coming. Don't stop it, don't let them look at it. Just keep it coming and hope they grab it. If they turn and go back down, you can drop your grub back down. Uh, use heaps of scent and just go the same speed the fish is going as it's coming for your lure and then just wait and really feel for, for it to load up before you hook in. That's my tips, it's only going to get better, uh, water's still cold and it's a great thing to do right through spring and into summer. So I'm going to wrap it up guys, I'm going to get out of here, carve up the afternoon glass and get home. Thanks for watching another video, I appreciate it. Make sure you leave a comment and subscribe if you like the content. New video every two weeks, so uh, every two weeks, Monday, 5 p.m., new video coming out. Thanks for watching, guys. See you on the next one.